Hello. Why do golf balls have dimples? Would you like to know? Well, I'm going to explain it to you. But uh, first, a little, a little bit of history of the golf ball. The, the modern golf ball began to take shape uh, around the mid-1800s and when manufacturers were finally able to make a round ball that uh, was, was consistently made. And, uh, but players uh, soon found out that golf balls, which had some imperfections in them, some cuts and nicks, um, tended to fly further than perfectly new round golf balls. And so the manufacturers began to, uh, to, to, to put a texture on the surfaces of these balls so they weren't totally smooth. Well, as, as time evolved, uh, dimples were placed on the balls in the early 20th century. And uh, they have evolved since then. And uh, there's usually somewhere around 300 to 450 dimples on, on a golf ball. But it depends upon the manufacturer. And uh, also the sizes and shapes of the dimples uh, varies quite a bit. Um, it really is not known what the best configuration is for a golf ball dimples. And uh, the mathematics of it is, is really quite, quite complicated and, and technical. It would require a lot of... Uh, computing power to, uh, to, to even think about designing a golf ball mathematically. All right, well, anyway, here is why golf balls have dimples. When you hit a golf ball, if you hit it right, you create a backspin. So let me, uh, let me put some dimples on my, my ball here. And let's suppose this ball is struck so that it goes in this direction. Now the club face comes down and hits it like so, and by design is supposed to cause a backspin. So if the ball goes, takes off in this direction, the backspin would be in a clockwise direction, this way. Um, if you play golf and, and have topped a ball, you've created, um, unfortunately, a, a uh, forward spin in the ball where it tumbles forward, then uh, you'll, you'll recognize the ball is, is just not going far, it just goes like that. Um, very unfortunate shot, but when you hit a golf ball right, it creates a, a backspin. <clears throat> now, what's the advantage of the backspin? Well, the, the ball is going this way, and it's running into air, and so imagine that it's running into the air. And what is the direction of the air? Well, the air has to flow around the ball, and uh, so it gets pushed around the ball, like so, on either side. And what's happening here is these little pockets, um, dimples, um, have little pockets of air, and they sweep air around the ball. And uh, now, if it's a perfectly smooth ball, it wouldn't, it wouldn't spin the air around it, hardly. But but the little pockets, it does grab little pieces of air and spins it around. So the air on the back side of the ball is is coming around the front here, and it runs into the air on the bottom side of the ball that's going this way. So you have on rushing air and this air collides on the bottom. On the top, however, this air is going the same direction as the air being pulled around the top of the ball. So around the front face of the ball, these little pockets, these little dimples are grabbing air and shoving it this way. And so the air from the ball is flowing in the same direction as the air that the ball is colliding with. So what happens? You have air meeting together here on the bottom. It's colliding. These air molecules are colliding. And it increases the air pressure down below. So we have a, a higher pressure on the bottom of the ball. But on the top of the ball, the air flows over it very quickly. And the air is not bunching up, it's not colliding, it's actually zipping right over the ball. And so there are fewer air molecules on top, it creates a, a low pressure situation. And so, you can see what happens, air pressure is pushing the ball upward. And so there's more pressure down below, it causes the ball literally to rise. And that's why when you hit a hit the ball, if you hit it well, it tends to, to take off like this before it starts to come down. And so this, this initial rise is due to air pressure. That's the aerodynamics. It's the same principle that, uh, in essence, that 
causes airplanes to, to have an airfoil effect so the airplanes rise or, or birds can fly or, uh, or sailboats can sail. It's all about air pressure and uh, air pressure is, um, can be very forceful. <laughs> so uh, think about golf, uh, baseballs. Baseballs have stitching. Without the stitching, if a, if a baseball was smooth, then pitchers couldn't throw curveballs or sliders or, or knuckleballs. And so, um, it's all about air pressure. And that's why golf balls have dimples.